Hey hi everyone this is Mukesh Tiwari once again from learnhyperdimension.com today in this video we'll talk about how to work with drag and drop elements or drag and drop type of scenario in playwright with java there are many scenarios where you will get this kind of widgets where you need to drag certain activities and drop into some place or you have to drag certain things into drop into a specific a uh, place or a location so in this kind of scenarios you can simply drag and drop right manually So Playwright can do this in two different ways, and I will show you both the ways one by one. So it depends on what kind of requirement you have. You can go ahead and implement. For this, Playwright have already one section called Drag and Drop. So when it comes to part one, you can simply use one method called Drag to. So this will be your source, and this will be your destination. This is a direct way to do this in Playwright. But let's say you want to implement how we do manually, right? For example. if i have to do this manually i will do click and hold mouse over then i will release so i'm using this mouse right same thing if you want to perform using play right you can do that so you will put mouse over do the mouse down put mouse over to a different location and mouse up let me show you again mouse over then mouse down move to a specific destination and mouse up same thing first mouse over then down then mouse over then up very easy scenario but quickly i will show you how you can start working on it but before we start if you are completely new to keyboard scenarios and mouse scenarios i already have a dedicated videos how to handle keyboard actions in playwright in this video we discussed how to work with keyboard controls mouse controls that will give you some idea before we jump into this example So to save some time I already have created one drag and drop file it's a java class I already have chromium set headless equal to false and slow motion set to 500 I already use this url which is uh, droppable okay which we are going to use it Now on this particular scenario this particular droppable section that you see is coming inside a iframe So I will be using switch to iframe basically we will use frame locator but in your application if you don't have frame please don't use frame you can directly perform the activities which i will show you in this scenario this particular complete box is coming in i frame for example if i right click on this you can see we have view frame source road reload i frame so i will click on inspect notice now we have two dev tags so let me keep it here so that you can see properly again inspect This is a div tag, which is basically the element which I need to drop a drag. This is another div tag where I need to drop, so drag and drop. But this complete section is coming in iframe, so in order to work with these elements, I need to switch to this iframe. Notice here we have a source, we also have a class, so we can use this class name directly to switch to this iframe. Copy this demo frame, come back to Eclipse, and use page. dot locator it will ask you give me the locator which will find that particular iframe now since we are working with iframe instead of locator just say frame locator frame locator it will ask you give me the selector of the iframe when working with iframes you can create a frame locator that will enter into the iframe since we have used class with class we use dot and the class name this will return you the reference of frame locator so i will use frame locator frame locator is a separate interface which is in play right and it's coming from this package com.microsoft.playright.frame locator it means if i have to perform drag and drop activity i will be using this reference not page reference i can use this now let's go back to documentation first we have to use the source this is the source right in our case the source would be this element which is id equal to draggable now since i'm using id here i will be using hash so when you start working with css selector when you're dealing with class you will use dot when you're dealing with id you will use hash so this is my source then i need to say drag to 
where we need to drag to now we need to provide the location where we need to drop so again use frame locator dot locator and here where to drag I need the destination the destination is this droppable copy this ID since we are using ID hash again and we are done source and the destination if I right click run as Java application you will notice it will simply do the drag and drop very straightforward nothing much here only thing that I told you that this application have a frame so I am using iframe but in your case if you don't have frame you will go with page so I will write this in text so in case if you want you can use this you will use page dot locator then you will say drag to page dot locator that's all this will be the scenario if you're not dealing with frame so please use this now this is a direct approach direct approach we are using drag to method now suppose you don't want to use drag to so you can use the manual approach manual approach says first you need to put mouse over on the source so we'll use frame locator dot locator this is my source so I will copy this first we'll put mouse over so for mouse over we have a dedicated method called hover mouse over after mouse over we have to use mouse right so down then up for that we have page dot keyboard dot not keyboard we have to use mouse this time mouse dot down so that it will press the mouse then I need to go to this particular location right which is where we need to drop so frame locator locator again mouse over so use hover and once we reach to the destination page dot mouse dot up so mouse over mouse down mouse over mouse up once we are done execute this run as your application and let's see yeah it did the operation and since I'm using slow motion it's going little slow again if you are not using frame this will change to page dot locator this will also change to page dot locator since I'm dealing with frame I have used frame locator reference which is this so in most of the scenarios uh, if you have direct access to the destination go with the first approach but let's say if you want to manually do this approach go with the second approach yeah so that's all about this video i hope this video was helpful if you get some value from this video then do support this channel if you're new to this channel subscribe this channel share with your friends and colleague and i will see you in the next video till then bye bye take care